Oh, okay. As far as I'm concerned, we can basically finish... Well, we might be able to finish. So if I'm not mistaken, in order to properly do this, I need... Let me mark the stranger. I need to, first of all, enter the raft and fall through the area. Then, after doing that and getting one of the things done, I will then need to kill myself in the fire, do the, uh, the puzzle on the left, and then the lights on the right. And then we should be able to open the vault and whatever is inside of it. Because we really don't know still. My assumption is that it's... Well, actually, if I'm doing it this way, then I should go over here. Uh, my assumption is that it's going to either be a... The, the, the singular missing deer person. Deer owl person. Or it's going to be the technology they use to maintain the simulation. All right. I think there's a faster way to do this part than I remember. I think it involves that invisible bridge, but I, I, I don't really remember. So I'm just going to say fuck it and just do it the old way. Also, I kind of like walking through that area. It's kind of cool. Advanced darkness. Going down. I've gone through this area so many times. <clears throat> All right. It's fine. I like looking at this area anyway. It's really pretty. It's really, really, it's really nice. It's just very like, I don't know. I like walking through their areas. I think it's just the way like their architecture, just the Native American Wendigo combo. You know, it's, it's got such a, such a unique art direction sci-fi combined with like native american kind of tribe combined with american gothic lots of american gothic the paintings especially just it's super cool the whole thing about it well i say wendigo as more of like a little bit of the the vibe i get from their their look with the antlers, like, cause aren't, aren't Wendigo kind of like antler people? Creepy antler people monsters? So, I mean, it's, it's close enough for me. They are, they are more owl deer people things, but that's the vibe I first get with their, uh, with their, like, physical description. I'm sure I'm sure it's a lot more complicated than that, but it's not the point. When I think of a physical description, it's the first thing I think of. All right. It's time to break the system. It's time to bring down time to down the system. Double quarter circle spin. Jump. The system. All right. And... Doop. And... Doop. Jump. Now I need to go to the big thing. I think I can get there pretty quick from here. Uh, oh, oh, wow. You can get there really quick from there. It's literally right there. Man, it's almost like this was planned or something. 
fucking crazy, isn't it? It's almost like they, they... Oh, I can't go that way. It's almost like they, they... These guys are just really good at game design or something. There we go. Death. I love how killing yourself in the fire is an actual game mechanic in this game. I cannot believe it. It is so funny to me. All right, we figured out the first cause of the issue. Now, it is time for part, uh, the, the, first, the first glitch of the simulation has been completed. Now it is time for part two. Artifact dropped. Onwards. go this little bastard that's two Nice try. I'm fucking dead. Oh my god, it's finally happening. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's happening. Everyone stay calm. Oh my god, stay calm. Got all these uh let's got all these bastards going. All right. What? 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 In the fuck? flame over there. Wait, there's that one missing person. Could it be the person? Prisoner? His antlers all fucked up. Who are you? It's so weird to see them move like this. Right, the vault thing. Oh. 
You woke up. Oh, he turned the eye thing off. I guess that makes sense why I am able to see it. At least maybe for a bit. It turned it back on. Okay. Take vision torch. Yo, it's me! I got my own vision! Oh. Right, they all died. The world went away. There's the fucking vessel, okay. <laughs> wow, that sucks, holy shit. Wow, oh my God, that's horrible. So that, oh, that's how that happened. Oh, that sucks ass. Unlucky. Interloper. Oh. Yep. Yep. Rest in peace, fucking interloper. Is that Feldspar? Yo, is that the man? <laughs> Wait, is this young me? Wait, is this what I look like? Oh shit! I'm so small! You go friend wait 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 Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> that caught me for a second. That, oh my God, that's gonna show me. Oh. <laughs> All right. It's okay though. He's friend. I think. I wonder why he did that. You know, I wonder why he uh, he turned off the eye stopper doodad.
Wait, this is all turned off. Yo, friend! Droog! Ah, I think it's the supernova idea. Ah. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, fuck. He probably went into the wall. He turned off his thing. He's not up there. And... Yeah. He's probably dead. He's probably dead dead. Because his, his, his thingy... His little doodad... Is, uh... I'm assuming he, he... Yeah, he was done with being, you know... I freed the prisoner! I freed the prisoner, that's the whole idea, I guess. In reality, he's just behind this rock. Unfortunately, I am also dead. So the moment that I jump in this water, you know, I guess it's a little bit anti Well, not, not anticlimactic, but he's dead now. But at the same time, he's not because the loop is going to end. Huh. Well, I guess going to the eye is the other way to do it. Death. I'm gonna go beat the game. Because I, I, I'm sure there's, there's extra stuff at the end of the, the real game. The base game. At least I can- at least I can mark the vessel. Yeah. At least now I can mark the vessel. But first, I gotta go somewhere else. Ash Twin! Ash Twin Project! Ash Twin! Ash Twin Project! Ash Twin! Ash Twin Project! This should be the right spot. So, how are you? I wonder why his antler got broken. It was actually broken before he was down there. Yeah, that was a really good DLC, Cabal. That was a very good DLC. I like the concept at the end. He kind of embraces the inevitable, and he, he left a little thing where he's like, hey, the two of us are going to embrace the sunset together. You know, we're going to die together. We're friends. Which was a nice little, uh, nice little thing. Yeah, I'm assuming the antler is just to distinguish him from the rest of them. It makes sense. Or maybe he was a troublemaker before. Wait a minute. Now that I think about it... Him... Him turning off the field for the short period of time that he did is actually what brought the Nomai here. They didn't know the pings originally. It was his pings. Mmm. 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 What a lad. Uh, 
Well, nah, he didn't. He didn't kill the whole civilization, so to speak. That wouldn't be fair. Ricky, a little detail you may have missed. In some buildings, there are portraits of him, but they scratched out his face. But you can see the broken antler. Holy shit! I was wondering why there were scratched out faces. I thought it was just like to show the passage of time. I did notice the scratched out faces, but I didn't realize it was him. That makes sense. I didn't think about that. I thought it was just like these things were, you know, burnt or, or old or yada yada. You, you, yeah, you know, I bet because if you if you noticed he woke up and everyone else was still asleep. I'm going to assume that perhaps he wanted um, the universe to like keep going. Or you know, he, he didn't want to live like endlessly in the simulation perhaps. So that's my assumption. Oh my God, I, forget, I always forget about the gravity of this place. I'm assuming he has more of like a, uh, I just simply, you know, he didn't want to like live in the fantasy world forever, perhaps. Or he wanted other people to find the eye, but I don't know why. It seemed like maybe he wasn't in agreement with everyone else on the, oh my God, the eye is a piece of shit and it's going to kill all of us. So much lore to this game, and all I personally can remember is that somewhere there's some home for the elderly that doubles as a slaughterhouse. I do not think you are thinking of the right game, my friend. That is not this game. You might have the wrong game. There, I do, I do not know of an elderly slaughterhouse in Outer Wilds. This game is pretty. This, this game is pretty PG or like E10 plus. You, you might maybe is that an outer why uh, outer worlds thing is that a the outer worlds thing because this is certainly yeah 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 common mistake common mistake common mistake it happens the uh yeah outer outer wilds is also known as one of the best games of the past 10 years and one of the best sci-fi games I have ever played that in order to experience it, you need to watch nothing. Outer Wild, Outer Worlds was fine. Outer Wilds is a fucking masterpiece. There we are. Or is it this one? I think it's the, it's the cactus one, yeah. And now we wait. Got it. That was weird. That was a weird sound with that when that one just happened. It was like some cr a little, little crunchy audio there. Onwards and forwards. Oh wait, anti-graph. Artificial gravity control. Let's go. There it is. It's time. Literally holding my life in my hands. If I die, that's it. Now to the worst place ever known to man. Mm. 
Newton's first law, Newton's first law! Wait, can I go to either? Or do I have to go to red first? Okay, red it is. Okay, I thought it was still red. Okay, I thought I thought so. I thought so. I hear the fish not moving. Oh my god. Oh, I'm not going very fast at all. I'm losing velocity. That's Newton's second law. It's fine. I might just want to eject. Can't, you, you can only kind of outrun the fish. They, the problem with the fish is that they accelerate like mad. You can technically outrun the fish, but they, they accelerate much faster than you do. Or maybe it's the other way around. Or maybe they actually are faster than you, but you accelerate quicker. Regard regardless, there's a good chance you can't outrun the fucking fish. Oh my god. Do you see that antenna up top? Gamers gaming. Gamers. Gamers! Real gamers! Ah. Oh. oh, wait, other way around. Enough. Imagine if I didn't have my suit on again. Out of my way, shitty core. Oh, 
Okay. Let's see. again. Fuck that one up. God damn it. God damn it. Here we go. I slipped. Okay. <sighs> Yeet! Go to the window and look up. Oh, shit! There's our little boy! That's badass. That's badass as hell. I can't believe it's actually there. The world. Yeah. All right, the gravity is insane here. Wow, this is some tripophobia here. Man, I sure do love Eldric fucking weirdness. True power. Oh my goodness. Bunch of quantum bullshit. Damn. Oh, oh God, that's right, this part. I wonder if there's another exhibit here. Mr. Everest technology, a heart thing was able to reach the eye of the universe. 
Rio Tower. Uh, visible ring world inhabited by a species whose presence in the solar system predated even the Nomai. Uh, decided to block the eye signal so that no one else would ever uh, horrify what they discovered. Decided to block it so no one else would ever find it. One individual, however, rebelled against the decision, was able to briefly release the eye signal back into space before getting caught and imprisoned in solitude for his betrayal. Where's the anglerfish one? Yo, he's dead, Pog! Of all the life forms who will perish in the oncoming death of the universe, we will miss the anglerfish the least. I love a little bit of, uh, a little bit of meta memes from the devs. Yo, fuck the dark bramble. Observe. Ah, trees. Ah, trees. It's real pretty. Bunch of trees full of uh, expl uh, exploding galaxies. A pretty little area. I was forgetting how you get stuff to spawn though. Oh right, they started to explode now. Chad's <laughs> getting dark. There we go. Hello, me. Goodbye, me. It was nice knowing me. <laughs> Hello, campfire. Excellent. What's up, dude? Oh no, is this the one I think it is? Or is that the Feldspar one? Oh, thank God. Oops. Oh, right, I gotta break the thing down. Quantum imaging! And all that good stuff. Gotta remember those rules. 
What's up, Ryback? No rush, take your time. <laughs> no rush, take your time. It might not even exist here. That's our new boy. I want to get him last. I want to get our new boy last. I think it's Solomon, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> Hello. Zoom. We're going. Oh shit, we're going. Nailed it. All right. We'll grab this person, then we get the last one. In the ancient glade, it's always dark. Shit, I lost it. Shit. There we go. Oh, you little bitch. There we go. Got it. Got Gabros. Got Gabros, dude. Gabro. It's time for friend. Friend. Droog! Aw. Oh! The theater! That's sad and sweet. Ah, Yo, wait a minute. Oh, it's a little thing for all three. It's all three races. Wait a minute. That's right. I have to extinguish these. Oh, that's sadder now. Oh, that hits so much harder. Good way to do gameplay into stuff, though. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh, that's good. That's a good idea. <laughs> that was smart. If, if fucking horrifying. <laughs> that was, that was awesome. If, if. Fucking terrifying. <laughs> hey, there he is in the back. Hey, Gabro. Hey, time pal. So you're getting the band back together, huh? And the others, you don't need if I will. Actually, you found me. That stuff coming around a campfire, isn't it? Go on, get the others. Oh, that's right. It's all just a bunch of get the other stuff. What's up, chirp? 
<laughs> they are beautiful, aren't they? Even if our stars ultimately will kill us. All the way here. Solemn. Hypothesis. Everyone must be here before we may begin. Once they arrive. Oh, oh, wait. I'm glad you remembered me. Friend! When my kind found the eye and realized what it was capable of, they were terrified. It was too difficult a truth, like a light too bright to look upon directly. It burned them. But they could not unlearn was hidden away in darkness. Obfuscated, then lost. They did not want to see their story end. My kind weren't always like this. We weren't always so afraid, and I did what I could to set things right. Yet I am still of my kind, and you know now what they did. I cannot promise our fear won't stain your mind. And so a choice. Are you certain you want to remember me? Yes! Join us! Come on! I don't want to repeat my kind's mistakes, but if you're willing to take the risk, then so am I. Oh my god! Yes. He's so big. He's so big. Yeah, the old harmonica. What do you say, time buddy? Let's go. New friend! I hadn't dared to hope that anyone would hear the signal for how briefly I set it free, yet here we are. Are you ready for the final step? Yes. And it's time to send our spark out into the darkness. What an interesting... What an interesting instrument. Is this a real thing? Oh. I learned a lot by the end of everything. The past is past now, but that's, uh, but that's, you know, that's okay. And it's never really gone completely. The future is always built on the past, even if we won't get to see it. Still, it's time for something new now. How beautiful. It's different than I'd envisioned. Whatever happens next, I do not think it is to be feared. I was going to make music with everyone around a campfire. I'm really happy we're all here. Cut a, you cut it a little close, don't you think? Well, it worked out at the end, I suppose. I hope there are beasties in the next one. Fuck you, Feldspar. Tell you what, it's been really fun. And I got to help make something pretty cool. So I've got no complaints. I mean, not me exactly, but close enough. The kind of thing that makes you glad you stopped and smelled the pine trees along the way, you know? I believe we've reached the end of our journey. All that remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. Fucking nerd. Yes, I'm ready to learn what comes next. Fucking nerd. There's only now I had a good time learning, but I think the rules are about to change. Here we go. I overshot it. Damn, it's loud. <laughs> I really like this game. I very much enjoy this game. Is this breaking the loop? Oh, no, Thresher, my friend. The universe is fucking exploded. But don't worry. Now it's time for a new universe. All right. 
Alex, you crazy son of a bitch. No, it's good. It has a good moral. It has a good moral. The, uh, I, I like that. It, it actually comes in a little bit better near the end because the, um, the strangers, well, they, they fucking feared the inevitable. They were terrified of it. They were, they were very terrified of it. And so it's, uh, you know, it makes sense that they, that, you know, they took steps to try to stop it and you know, the, the, the kind of the whole point of Outer Wilds is not to fear the inevitable. You know, is acceptance. It's the whole point of Outer Wilds, and it's another way that they decide to add on to that point. And it's really good. It's really good. I don't even remember if there's a way to skip this or not. I guess I'll just wait. I don't know how long it is. I know this team is not very large, so. Give me the thing. Give me the title. 14.3 billion years later. Where's my probe? Where's my probe? Where is it? Where's my probe? I fired that bastard. Weird moth people. Oh shit, down there. Yo! That's new! Oh shit. <laughs> I love firing the probe in there. I love firing the scout in there. It's always funny to me. Hell yeah. Hell to the yes. Such a good fucking game. Love it. It's in my top 10. Ah, it's so good. Damn, that was a good DLC. That was almost as good as the base game. It... I, don't, I might like it more. You, you know, you know, it's not as long as the base game and it doesn't have a variety of location, which base game has a lot more of personally. However, you know what it did have though? Way more exciting is, uh, discoveries. Every, every mind blown discovery was five times more impactful because you were in a tighter space. Like, Nothing in the base game ever met the same impact of loading screens on the on the thing and and the fucking and leaving the artifact back. Uh also wow the darkness the advanced darkness also wow trying to escape the damn the damn antler uh the damn strangers I, if I had any negative, I think it would be that, like, getting chased by the, the strangers is, it's like, it's almost too basic for a, t a team this talented. It's a little, it's a little too normy, if that makes any sense. It's, it's a little more, it's like, I don't think, uh, leaving this game, I don't think Mobius should make a horror game or anything. Or at least not one like that, because then it'll turn into Outlast 2, and that's not very good. Um, I don't, I don't think that's particularly a great decision. Uh, but it worked really well for this DLC. For this DLC, it, it was like phenomenal. Um, and, and you know, the, the escaping them segments were, were pretty small. They weren't that, uh, they weren't that, 
uh, what's it called? Like, apparent. They didn't, they didn't shove it in your face too much. Review? Amazing. Like, 9 out of 10. My only negative is, uh, you know, the stealth segments are a little jank at times. That's about it. That's, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I'd probably give this a 9. It's really good. I am very impressed that it was able to... You know, I almost feel like it's a little bit more contained, too, than, than the real... The base game. Because I do think the base game is a bit... Like... You're a little scatterbrained in the beginning. Going to planet to planet and stuff like that. I kind of like... I almost feel like it's a little bit better at times because of it's so concise. It's in one spot. Pretty damn good. <laughs>